All right, early on in the start of the pandemic, going way back when, it was apparent that there was not enough PPE for every healthcare worker to completely protect themselves. And that was especially the case for N95 respirators. Reuse became necessary, and the question became, how do we sterilize them? Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new study that proves a certain method works. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim and Devin. Yeah, different techniques to kill the SARS-CoV-2 virus on N95 respirators have been used, including rotation out of use for several days, heat, exposure to vaporized hydrogen peroxide, and ultraviolet light. And it's the ultraviolet light that the Henry Ford Health System has been studying. You know, back in March, it was a pretty rough time for all of us. Uh, you know, the level of anxiety, you know, I, I dare say, I, you know, I feel as a, collectively as a culture and different systems, we were near panic. Dr. David Ozog is the chair of dermatology at the Henry Ford Health System. Um, our department does a lot of uh, ultraviolet light therapy, as do a lot of dermatology uh, departments. Using their expertise in ultraviolet light, they quickly determined UVC lights could be used to kill SARS-CoV-2 on masks. UVC, when it hits DNA, it denatures it. So it damages it. It just doesn't go very deep. We started uh, uh, implementing these devices uh, at Henry Ford. Uh, we put them out at three different locations and at one location they were going through thousands and thousands of these uh, of these uh, uh, respirators and re retreating them. But staff at those uh, at those places, you know the nurses, the techs, you know they they looked <laughs> they looked into my eyes and basically said, how do you know for sure that it's working? And you know I had to be honest and say, we, we really don't know because we've never tested SARS-CoV. So Dr. Ozog reached out to Dr. Johnny Sexton at the University of Michigan, where they have the unique ability to test the devices with live SARS-CoV-2 virus. We had received lots of contacts like this, but this one stood out to us particularly because this was about our healthcare workers. And we moved forward in a collaboration that, you know, outside of COVID probably wouldn't have happened. So, and what we found was with certain types of masks that um, it was absolutely effective um, in in reducing. So we basically could not detect any live virus after um, the after the mask had been exposed. Now there were some important limitations. The two masks that were most effectively sterilized were these green 3M 1860 masks and these Moldex masks. Also, elastic straps weren't always decontaminated completely, so using an alcohol swab on the elastic can enhance the cleaning. So how does this method compare to other options? Well, you know, Kim, compared to vaporized hydrogen peroxide that many institutions are using, mm -hmm. this actually has the advantage that can, it can be applied more quickly to smaller numbers of masks in an office setting, for example. Of course, the real hope is we don't have to use this exactly. at all, and we will have plenty of masks going forward. Yep. Remains to be seen. That's Back to the you. real answer. Okay. Thanks, Doc.